Hey everyone, this is Uthris. Welcome back to Timber and Stone. As you can see, our uh, archers are engaging a skeleton infantry right here. Oh god, kite. Please kite. Kite, 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 kite. Get out of there, Jennifer. It's dangerous. Alright, so able to get one of them dead um, basically what I'm trying to do is get close enough to the skeleton army that we have and try to take care of it with the archers just peeling them away and then uh, essentially thin them out uh, so this this episode we might get a good bit of combat going uh, as you can see Archers don't really want to mess too much with these guys. Kind of a shame, but they're being pansies. So, whatever. But hopefully they can be at least somewhat effective. And friendly fire does happen, so I'm, I'm really bringing the archers wide. So hopefully they don't shoot our own people here. Definitely need to gather the resources from these guys. So we took out a little section and eventually what I plan on doing is building a little bit of a land bridge to kind of pull them away from the necromancer a little bit at a time. Having so many of these things on screen at once really affects my frames per second so we really need to start dealing with this in the long run for sure. Uh, but until some more action comes by, I guess everyone else will just be chilling out in town. I gotta clear these messages away. Uh, let's see what else. In between episodes, I have constructed our blacksmith, and you know the a lot of the crafting professions are gonna be up here near the castle itself, so. Uh, that's something cool to look forward to uh, between the blacksmith gonna have a stone mason and so uh, let's see uh, wood carpenter of course need to replace that a couple roofing tiles that I made incorrect initially here and then dig mine and get rid of these uh, little path. So the, the blacksmith is a cool little building. Um, it's got a work table outside, a chair. It's fairly welcoming. It's got, uh, of course, a chimney for the forge, and then it's his personal fireplace. And if we scroll down here, holding alt and scroll wheel worked wonders, by the way. Uh, I forget who suggested it. Oh, you comment on a lot of my videos. Okay, I, I can't remember off the top of my head. But, what I can say is that it's working great. Uh, so what we have in here is his living quarters here. He has got a table, his own chair, a fireplace embedded into the wall, which looks nice. A little bit of a bookcase, and food. So, he basically can self-sustain in this area permanently going forward. He's got weapon racks to store weapons that he makes, and it basically just adds that to our supply, which is great. He's got an armor chest, a tool chest, an uh, ingot stack by the forge, and of course his little work table. His anvil's tucked in the corner as well, and as you can see the chimney is fairly centered over the forge itself and it goes straight up and out. Uh, it's definitely a nice little building. I think it gives off a good little vibe. So that's what I built off camera. And then this episode, we're also going to get started on the um, ugh, everyone's running away from this area. Come on, Bernard, go go back over here. You, you can just work on stuff that we have planned. We're gonna be start laying out the keep at this point, and so. 
To do so, let's go ahead and lay out some flooring. What I do want, I want the castle door to be here uh, in line with the main row that's going in. And that's going to be sitting on some nice smooth timber. And it's going to be using the actual big castle door here. It's going to be called just the castle gate. And as you can see, it's a fairly large structure like this and it is a 4Y which is nice there's also gonna be one down here as well but we won't get to that until our engineer is a little bit higher in level and to do that what we need to do is also build some training dummies it's a wonder, wonderful thing that we have a bunch of twine so let's just build a whole bunch of these And this is basically going to train him up. And then we'll just deconstruct them for the materials back. So it's not a big deal. Uh, do we get materials back? Yes, we do. So. Cool. And the engineer, uh, Udesi is level five. He needs about a level and a half more before we can start making the doors. Our food storage, tight as always. I'm basically trying to tuck in some additional storage up around our hay bales uh, inside our uh, windmill granary like structure. So maybe a food crate can go here and then also let's just do a barrel I don't think it can get in that corner but we can do a barrel and a food crate in that location basically just trying to buy us time we our food production is way higher than our consumption so we will probably never have to make another farmer or herder or any other food production unit for a long while. Back to the castle. Let's go ahead and finish constructing uh, some of the road here. Obviously the terrain will have to be edited just a little bit to make things fit. And then, let's see, floor, we need smooth timber for the floor and what's going to happen is it's going to be a fairly large structure for sure it's going to have this kind of grand hall and entryway it's going to be laid out fairly similar to Lothloria in its main hall so we're going to have uh, aisles running up the sides and this very large kind of open area which will widen at some point and how I'm going to do that is one yes if I hold control while drawing a line it basically does battlements for me automatically but it's also a good way to count blocks because it's two four six eight uh, going down the line and or you can use it to count odd, so ones, threes, it depends on which gap you're counting. And so this is an odd length, also the fact that we can measure uh, the numbers. I don't know why I'm bothering to counting blocks. I'm so used to Minecraft. So this is 23 down. I'm thinking I want it to be a nice even 30. So we can just extend the floor out. So a nice 30 by 8. Now this area here, it's going to be a little squished in just naturally because of the aisles that we're going to be running and they're going to be running down this main section. So we're just going to have a two wide aisle down most of this and then we'll get to the great hall back there. And then what I need is a tower of some sort here. So, I 
I need to lay out this shape for the internal structure of the defensive battlements. And it looks like a dick. There you go. I have successfully drawn a penis in this episode. Uh, that's it. Uh, episode's over. GG. This is all we needed to do in every video game. Just draw a penis. And your structure will look great. And now it looks like it has emeroids. I'm not really known for my penis jokes, by the way. And then at this point, we can try and get away from this shape. So there's going to be a wall there and there. I'm going to do a little bit of courtyard like thing. So 10 by 10 by 10. So that's one of the uh, courtyards. This is the um, one with a well in it, usually. And then we can just lay out this as well. And everything can be subject to change. And our thing is paused. Why is our game paused? I don't know. Usually it means something's... Uh, under attack. Bernard, man, you're you're killing me, bro. Get back to the keep. This is just where you need to go right now. Wow, we're already at 11 minutes. Oh, I wanted this to go a lot faster. Once he puts more roofing on, actually no, he already did that. That's probably why he went back to that area here. So we ju we just need to keep him busy on this side. And also, I need to build a whole lot more uh, brick. We're gonna need a lot of this stuff. So let's go ahead and make 500 more. And you know what? We're gonna need a lot of timber too. So let's go ahead and make 200 timber. Which is crazy to think about. Uh, we're going to need to cut down a lot of trees. Okay, guy, look here. I'm in the middle of trying to design a castle. I don't need to worry about trading right now. I don't even have the trading post built. Why are you here? How do you know about me? All I did was build roads connecting to an invisible wall. Like, I didn't set up street signs. How do you find me? How does anyone know where I am? Migrants, for example. There's no ads. Hmm. The questions of timber and stone will, will never be answered, I don't think, in this lifetime. But, I definitely need more wood cutters to get this going well enough. So let's see, anyone that I don't need going? Our engineer is still level 5. We need to build more target dummies. Tell you what, we don't really need a miner right now. So, get rid of you. Make you a wood chopper. You can go chop some wood. Right? No one's really mining anything. Except for that spot needs mined out, but that's just a window. Not very important. I have to say, I really like the lumberjack outfit. Besides the exposed cleavage, um, you know, it's very realistic. Let's check on our engineer. Obviously, he ran out of materials, but that's okay. We can just deconstruct these and basically get it all back. And then also tell our, where's our, where's our tiller? What are you doing? You're a miner, I don't care. Go back and, and make me some twine. I need twine for those target dummies. And then I'll also go ahead and just keep making more of them.
Also, at some point, uh, once we get more work on the castle, I kind of care more about getting our defenses fully set, at least the keep. I'm going to go ahead and out here, at some point, we're going to need the trading depot, which will probably be on this side, and then also a inn. And so the inn is kind of an important structure because it's going to house a lot of beds in the midterm. And cancel constructing that. And so that that's something to maybe focus on next, after maybe we lay out the first floor plan here. And this is going really, really slow. Oh, because I'm net in double time. Hey, look at me. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so the walls, I'm going to use castle ruins for basically all lower sections of the wall and it's because it's a little bit more mossy and the purpose of that is to just make the thing look a little older and uh, it's aged so I mean the the lower section of the wall for sure is you know supposed to I mean it's by the moisture of the dirt and things like that so hopefully it'll look pretty cool put some grass back here if I haven't said so already you can rotate blocks in this game by pressing space if rotation is allowed usually these slopes it's gonna give me these variations if you guys didn't already know that by now if you're playing along or if you know more than me then I'm probably just gonna make myself look stupid for mentioning it that's cool though fine by me need a whole lot more lumber need a whole lot more I still don't know how trees respawn how any of that works and why half the time I can't click on a tree but uh, we'll figure it out at some point maybe I'll actually bother to look it up but until then, we're just going to assume that we should sparsely cut down the trees so that they can somehow spread their seeds. Though I have been cutting in this direction for a while. And if I remember, we, we basically clear cut this section. I don't know if it's grown back at all. It could have, but I don't think we'll know for sure until it's pretty much all fully grown back in, in that area. Let's see, can we make any more coin? Ooh, we can make uh, a couple. Looks like eight more coins, which is great. It's good to have a source of income. There is no merchant here. Don't lie to me, chat. I'm already at 18 minutes. Build quickly. And yes, I should have multiple builders doing this if I wanted it done quickly. The problem with that is simply uh, the the like resources that we're gathering is much slower than we're consuming at the moment and so having one builder allows me to get a backlog of resources for crafting it into supplies because we're down to 50 logs at this point sure we have a decent amount of timber but that's just gonna go away really quick also going to have to dig out these areas so I can bring the wall down one get it all nice and flush to the terrain something like that and then construction let's see walls, 
castle ruins. Oop. There we go. So yeah, it's going to be pretty cool just to see the kind of the Lothloria keep. Uh, we're going to have some nice little fields here. Uh, we're not going to have the exposed kind of outer building. We're, we're just going to wrap it into the castle itself. And then the living quarters, which will be on this side. Uh, let's see, how do I want to do this roof? Roofing. Let's try and do like this wooden stair like effect. Kind of make the doorway a little bit more interesting looking in the long run. Uh, this is going to be a slow process getting all this built. And in fact, I might go ahead and just do a little bit of a time skip a couple days. Not much more is going to get done, but just so we can progress through episodes and content a little bit quicker because if I, if I just show you guys 20 minutes at a time this is not going to end anytime soon not soon at all where builder builder dude what are you doing Bernard oh you're hungry okay well keep doing what you do man so that's the representation of a staircase, I guess, right there. Oh, let's check on these, get these going again. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and come back uh, here in a couple in-game days to see how far we get. Maybe uh, once I get the whole bottom first floor kind of laid out for you all. So, be right back. Okay, everyone, welcome back. Uh, it's day 53, about noonish. Uh, as you can see, a lot of the floor plans kind of starting to show. It no longer looks like a penis, which is wonderful on my end, um, unless you guys enjoy that. I, I'm not one to judge. So, um, we have a little bit of a development down here obviously built a nice castle gate and so you guys can see how kind of imposing this can be i'm going to build a little bit of a wooden roof here just so it's a little bit more of a smooth transition for sure and then our engineer guy what what's wrong he's supposed to be building another one but he doesn't have enough resources so i need Yeah, I need some more strong timber. About six or so. And then he'll make our castle gate for the main keep. And as you can see, there, there's some basic pillars being spaced out. Uh, some of the towers are starting to be shown, which is wonderful. And then we can even uh, start throwing in doors. I, mean, I might do braced doors. Do I want them to open out or in? I think in. So there'll be brace doors for the towers, just to make them a little bit more sound, you know? And these are, of course, the towers that will take us up a floor. And then these towers will put us up on the walls. It's basically uh, La Floria light, is uh, how this is turning out, which is pretty cool. Boom, we got Castle Gate. That's great. Uh, the brace door looks pretty cool. It has some metal effects as well. And I think this is pretty much where we're going to leave off on this episode. Of course, in between episodes, I will be working a little bit more on the castle, at least getting the first floor uh, built up a little ways. And then we can come back, build on it together. You guys can suggest anything. Uh, any suggestions 
are wonderful and I will consider them all essentially uh, I want I think the pillars to go one more here so I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that down castle brick there we go plus that will give us a nice one well, that's gonna give us an even count I think yeah I don't know there'll be a door to this area somewhere as well anyways thank you so much for watching if you guys are enjoying the content feel free to subscribe uh, if you want to check out my channel for some other cool gaming goodness let me know that as well and uh, some cool stuff can definitely be seen here leave a thumbs up if you guys are like what we're doing and I'll see you guys in the next episode.